Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to go over what a hard inquiry is, provide you a step-by-step -step guide on how to remove a hard inquiry from your credit report, and debunk some misnomers about hard inquiries. What I'm about to share with you is exactly the same process credit repair companies use, but they charge you a lot of money for their services. You can do this all on your own and save yourself a lot of money. All the templates that you need are in the description below for free. All I ask is that you like and subscribe so others can benefit from this video. So what is a hard inquiry? It's when a bank or a lender reviews your credit report as a part of a loan application. So this could be done when you're getting a car loan, new home loan, or even when you're renting an apartment. And each hard inquiry gets reported on your credit report and therefore may hurt your credit score. Hard inquiries are calculated in the new credit portion of your credit score. New credit makes up 10% or 85 points out of the possible 850 points on your credit score. If you're interested in learning more about the five factors of your credit score and hacks and tips that you can do to improve those five factors, I did an in-depth video that you can check out in our description below. Now, this is different than a soft inquiry, which is usually done when you're reviewing your own credit. A soft inquiry doesn't show up on your credit report and doesn't hurt your credit score. You can always ask your bank or lender if they're going to do a hard or soft inquiry before you authorize them to pull your credit. And if you're curious, most money apps, like the app that I found at Cambio, only do soft inquiries. Now getting back to it, what are some misnomers about hard inquiries? First, most people believe a hard inquiry stays on your credit report forever. A hard inquiry stays on your credit report for two years. Next, you've probably read or saw a social media post that hard inquiries can have a huge impact on your credit score. The reality is each inquiry impacts your score by five points or less. And hard inquiries only hurt your score for about six months from the date of the inquiry. So if you have a hard inquiry that's older than six months, I wouldn't worry about trying to get it removed because after six months, a hard inquiry doesn't hurt your credit score. Remember, hard inquiries account for a portion of your credit score. So realistically, hard inquiries impact your score by about five to 30 points, depending on how many hard inquiries you have in a given period of time. So just real talk here. If you aren't looking to get a new loan within six months of a hard inquiry being done, then it may not be worth you stressing over trying to get it removed. But if it's something that you don't recognize, or if you believe the inquiry was done fraudulently, then I would try and get it removed. So what can you do to remove a hard inquiry that's less than six months old? First, you'll need to get a copy of your credit report. You can use a tool like annualcreditreport.com or the Cambio app. Once you have the report, look for hard inquiries you don't recognize. To dispute an inquiry, you'll need to write a hard inquiry dispute letter. In the letter, you'll need to explain why the hard inquiry was unauthorized and that you want it removed. For example, you can state that you only authorized the soft inquiry and the lender did a hard inquiry, or you can state that it was a result of identity theft. In the letter, you'll need to list each hard inquiry that was unauthorized, the date of the inquiry, and the reason why it should be removed. Then mail the dispute to the credit bureaus. I've provided the credit bureau's addresses in the description below. The credit bureaus will then investigate and remove the inquiry if they agree that it's inaccurate. You usually get results in 30 to 45 days. We provided a free dispute letter template in the description below so you don't have to go search for it. A second option is for you to call the credit bureaus directly and try to reach the fraud department. You can call each of the credit bureaus at one of these numbers and talk to someone in the fraud department. Once you reach someone, tell them the name of the company that did the hard inquiry, the date that it took place, and why it shouldn't be reported on your credit report. Remember, my advice is to only go down this path if you believe something has been fraudulently done or you don't recognize it. If you need help in your credit restoration journey, we've done more videos to help you. We did a video on how to remove late payments, how you can negotiate pay to deletes, and how to deal with medical debt in collections that's reported on your credit report. So check out the descriptions or subscribe to our channel. If this video has been helpful, hit that like button and subscribe so it can help others. And if you've got questions, put them in the comment below and I'll answer them. And if you're looking for more ways to have your credit score improve, check out our app, Cambio. We're on a mission to help you meet your financial goals regardless of your past. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.